Good morning, good morning, good morning, family. Happy Thursday to everybody. It's Thursday, and it is day seven of our steps to building our self-confidence. We're almost there, guys. You guys are doing so great to hang in there. We're at day seven of eight days, so hang in there. We're almost there, but I'm really, really, really excited to share uh, day seven with you and the next step, the uh, next key to building your self-confidence. Got my workout on them this morning already and I am really feeling my afro today. She really didn't shrink as much as I thought she would from doing all of that sweating. So hey, let's go ahead and get into day seven and the seventh key that we are going to be talking about today in building our self-confidence is visualization and affirmation. Visualization just means putting things before you that you could see because the power of the eye of what we see is what we believe. So we want to put some affirmations in front of us so that we can continue our journey in building our self-esteem. And when we talk about affirmations, affirmations and affirming typically just means that you declare that something is true. So we're going to put up affirmations to declare that something is true so that we can continue to build our self-confidence and believe in our abilities because that's what self-confidence is. And I am so grateful to have been born in a family that is phenomenal at affirming. They affirm me, they believe in me, and I am so grateful for that. So shout out to the family this morning. So let's just go ahead and get into uh uh, visualizations and affirmations. So what I want you to do is wherever you go and you see yourself every day. Here, I'm in the bathroom. I'm going to put affirmations all up on my mirror. So as you're building your self-confidence, those things that you're trying to get to that you may not be there already, that's okay. We're still going to put an affirmation for that. And as always, we're always going to use the word of God as our final authority and the scriptures that we're going to be referencing today is going to be Deuteronomy uh, 28 13 that says the and the Lord will make me the head and not the tail so you got to believe that you are at the top of your game in every area of your life so decide what your affirmations are going to be take those affirmations put them on a sticky note and then stick them on your mirror, stick them on your wall, stick them somewhere where you can see them every day so that you can continue your journey in building your self-confidence. So the first thing I'm going to put on the wall is the sticky of God's word because God's word is the final authority in our life. And that is what we're going to determine all our opinions by. So uh, Deuteronomy 28, 13 says, and the Lord shall make me the head and not the tail. Okay. Another one I'm going to put up here. It says, I am a well sought after speaker earning $10,000 per speaking engagement. Yes, I am. I am affirming that that is the destiny for my life. And it is up on the sticky. Uh, another one says, I am a cheerful giver because my bank account is a distribution center. God has made me to be the head and the tail. He has made me to bless those financially. And I can't do that unless I am making the type of money that allows me to take care of my whole household and freely take care of others. So yes, I am a cheerful giver because my bank account is a distribution center. Here's another one. I am effectively and lovingly communicating my needs to my husband and we have a beautiful and godly marriage. That's right, because the Bible also says, speak those things that are not as though they were and they will come into your life. All right, here's another one. I am strong and I face conflict immediately and resolve conflict lovingly. That's right, that's on my walls as well. Okay, here's another one. I will give people the benefit of, I'm sorry, let me start that over. I give people the benefit of the doubt before I judge them and put finality, finality on them. So that's on my sticky as well. Here's another one. I speak lives into, I speak into people's lives and bring forth life. Yes, part of my destiny. That's on my sticky as well. Okay, here's another one. I am looking around me. 
and the faces of the people I am helping, I am thrilled and to know that I am making a difference in their lives. Another sticky that's going on my wall. All right, here's another one. I am a queen and I walk in a posture of positivity and strength and I tackle all my fears and treat myself as my best friend. There's another one. That's a sticky that's going up there. An affirmation that I want to see every day. Here's another one. I am a great communicator and I listen intently to understand and firmly build strong relationships in my life. Yes, I do. Another affirmation. And here's another one. I am self-confident in all areas of my life and never return to that behavior of bondage. Can you relate to that? Yes, another sticky in my life. All right, and last, I am a winner and I am winning in life, as my sister Evelyn would say. And that is the final sticky in my life. So the goal is, that when you look in the mirror every morning, that you are affirming all of the things that you want to bring into your life or bring it into your life simply by speaking that word of power in your life and confirming it with the word of God that says, and the Lord shall make me the head and not the tail. And if that's not enough, you also need to remember that the word says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So if you write it down, you write the vision, you make it plain, it will come into your life. So today, number seven on building your self-confidence is visualization. You can see it. Affirmation. Speak those words that affirm the things that you want to bring into your life and bring that self-confidence. Okay, so let's recap real quick. And then we are on day seven. One more day to go. Okay, so number one was stop worrying about other people's opinions of you. Number two, focus on your strengths. Stay focused on your strengths, guys. And number three, tackle your fears. You can do it. I believe in you. You can do it. And number four, treat yourself like your best friend. Remember that? Speaking of best friends, remember when I did uh, number day four and I told you about me and my girlfriend? We went out and got us some leggings and some cute little tops. This is actually one of the tops that I got. Loose tops to cover up that belly. I don't have that belly anymore, but this was definitely the cute top that helped me cover it up, all right? Okay, and then number five says, change your outer image as a representation of the change in your mindset. And then yesterday we talked about posture, walking in the posture of a king and a queen in every area of your life. You are a king, you are a queen, walk in the posture of that, and they say, Seven is visualization and affirmations. I am so proud of you guys. You guys are doing so good. You've been hanging in there for seven days. Keep going. Keep pushing. Day eight comes tomorrow, and that's my final day of steps to building your self-confidence. So, tackle them. Come on, let's get them done. Let's get those affirmations done. Get them on the wall. I'd love to know what you said about your affirmations and visualizations. And so have a great Thursday and I shall see you on the next video. How about that? Mwah. <laughs>